Baby, this year it's just gonna be you and me Christmas memory. Morning. Morning. A very early morning. Yeah. Vlog all oh, bumpy. Vlogmas day four. Yeah. December the fourth. It's Friday. We're both off today. No work. <laughs> <laughs> but we did get up early and we're heading to Aldi for some supermarket shopping. Throughout the whole lockdown, we've generally um, ordered stuff from um, Ocado Home Delivery. We've done. Um, Sainsbury's click and collect quite often. Yeah. So we try to avoid going to supermarkets, but Aldi don't do an online offering. Yeah. There's rumours it might come. Yeah. In the future, I but... think they're trialling it. Yeah. But we absolutely love shopping there. Love the products. Um, it's very good with their little traffic light system. So we have sort of done little top up shops in Aldi as well. It's just such great value as well. Mm -hmm. So we're heading there this morning. Uh, it's just eight o'clock. The store opens at eight. And so, as you can see, scarf, it is cold today. <laughs> it's the first time I'm wearing my scarf for a very long time. What is it? Is it three degrees? Three at the degrees. So no yeah. snow, though. There was zero snow in the it end. It didn't materialise. <laughs> Typical British weather. Says so snow, doesn't happen. So, yeah, we're going to go to all. I don't know how much we'll film because it's pretty hard to film in supermarkets in the UK. Um, but yeah, we've got an action packed day. So we'll catch up with you. Just coming through Wokeham, the nice little church there. And look at the Merry Christmas lights on the tree. I don't think I've seen the Christmas lights in Wokeham yet. No, not this year. So we're just coming through Wokenham because our the Audi that we like is um, there and it's it's new and it's really nice, isn't it? It is nice, yeah. It's really good. You'll see what we mean. So we're just going through now. It is like drizzling this morning, isn't it? Yeah. Um, so we're just heading through. They've got like nicer new shops here, which is like modernised it. I've oh, there's a, a Christmas tree. tree. Most of Vlogmas is going to come to you through a window this year. <laughs> there's a lovely Christmas tree there. Look at that, a little um, town hall thing. So, oh, Christmas at Wokenham Market. It's market day, everyone. Little markets. Look, they're all out. Sweeties. Gluten free, <laughs> that, that whole uh, store is gluten free. And they got the little Christmas lights at the top here as well. So yeah, we used to um, come here really often for Nando's, didn't we? Yeah. <laughs> We're here. And a Starbucks also recently opened just over there. Convenient. Convenient, which I'm so <laughs> going to get my morning coffee. And it is quiet. This is what we love. We come early when it's quiet. Here yeah. we go. Masks on. And we're heading in. The traffic light is green, so we can head in. Here we go. Rich is just getting the trolley. They've got the anti station there. And I'm going to get a little basket. The Christmassy stuff. Look. Off is on. Loads of stuff. Rockin' Robins, 2.9. Shortbread. We've got these already. Christmas slices. All the lovely foods. So cheap. There's the fajita kit, we're gonna get one. There it is. Christmas cheeses. That nice big brie there. All the good stuff in the biscuit aisle. <laughs> Gonna have a look now. We've got a bit of a trolley update going on here. Yeah, we've got some bits in there, some brie. These cookies here are just the best. 65p. Let's get some. They're just like candy kittens, but they're so good. And they're coming with us today. We've got them already. Chocolatey bits. Look at these. Wow. Oh. Rich loves Turkish delight. He's already got his Turkish, Turkish delight. Turkish delight is the best. You've already got yours, haven't you? Yeah. And the 39p. So look cheap. at that millionaire sponge pudding. Do you want that one? <laughs> so nice. Christmas hour. Look at this. We've got Santa Star shortbread biscuit kit. And then the thumbprint one. Oh, you're going to get some Santa shorts. Should we get some Santa ones? Yeah. So good. So nice. To the frozen party food section, which was really well unwell stopped last time. Oh, they've got the Orientals there. Yeah. Got the spring rolls. Checking where the meat's from. Yakitori yeah, chicken skewers. And I put in the halloumi fries. And these, the soft bakes I mentioned, £1.29. They're so good. So they do have the click and collection points here. So we need to seriously look this up. I don't think they were that close to it, but 
I wonder if it goes through the checkout. I'm gonna go grab my Starbucks from this really spanky new Starbucks in Wokenham, which is so cool. It's a really nice one. So I got free drink today and now the Christmas range. Look at this, Christmas blend. Oh, lovely little tree decorations. How they're changing mugs there. <laughs> I love them. Really nice Starbucks, look at it. Lovely venti toffee nut latte. This was my free one. When you earn 150 stars now in the new Starbucks scheme, you get a free drink. And it, I got the venti one, so it's huge. I don't normally have a venti, so I'm going to be pumped on latte today. Um, but the Starbucks here, they're so nice. They're really nice. It's new and they're always so friendly. Um, so yeah, shopping done. Coffee got. Richie's just coming back with the pound from the trolley and we're going to get on with the next Learn something new every day. Click and collect is available at that store. Just found out today. Just found out. We saw like the shoppers in there. We're like, what are they clicking? What are they collecting? And then we saw the floor. So it's four ninety nine. dollars looks like. I just looked it up online. So we are definitely going to look at that now. That definitely. looks so good. Like, no Traffic brainer. disaster because the, the road we normally take is closed and it sent us down this lane and we've never been this way before and now we're stuck. Still stuck in traffic. <laughs> we went on an absolute assault course through a, like a single road. That, there's obviously a road closure, <laughs> crazy. Um, we're now getting through Wokenham, which is always fun to go home. Fun adventure this morning. So yeah, we're next up. We've got, we're going to the local dump or tip as we call them. Um, you have to book an appointment on our one. So we've been booking an appointment every week because we just have so much cardboard to recycle. Mm -hmm. So it's like the recycling center. So we go in there at nine. Rich has got his physio this morning as well. So we're going to get you in for your physio appointment, aren't Busy we? Busy morning. Today. Yeah, it is. And it's get petrol. And then we're going on an adventure. Bag. Do you want to see what we got? <laughs> I don't know about you guys, but I love seeing what people buy in supermarkets. So um, a bit of a mix of Christmas and what we need right now. Well, some of the things I'm a bit like, shall I save it till Christmas or shall I eat it now? Someone got, <laughs> someone got the six pound millionaire's pudding. Which I thought was for both of us, <laughs> but I'm going to persuade Luke to have some as well. <laughs> I'm sure I will. Uh, we got a few frozen bits, so like the Indian snack selection is like for Christmas Eve, halloumi fries Christmas Eve, um, pickled onions, which are just my favourite. Rich loves them. No, I don't. <laughs> <laughs> I absolutely hate pickled onions. <laughs> so tonight, we're going to be staying in a hotel. So what we've done is we don't want to go out anywhere, so we're going to eat in the hotel with a picnic. So we've just got a few like sausage rolls. Sausage rolls. I got the vegan or the plant menu ones. Classic dip selection. Some dips. We got some breadsticks and some tortilla chips like Doritos. Um, we also picked up a huge brie. Which isn't for tonight. <laughs> no. <laughs> the olives are for tonight. We'll show you everything tonight anyway. Um, these are really nice. They're a bit like Twix, but they're their own brand. There's going to be a fajita night, Mexican night. Um, and I saw someone have bagels um, on TV on, what was I watching? It was either like NCIS or something this morning. They were in New York and they were having New York bagels and I was like, I need a bagel. So for me, I'm having smoked summer bagel. Nice. We got some of this lovely caramelized red onion chutney for cheese over Christmas. Would you like a cheese plate? And then I've got some more of the soft bakes. Did you mention the crispy caramel car crispy yes. mini bites? And Luke really loves the M&S version, so I think they look. It's a bit of a taste test. They look like the M&S ones, but they're half the price, so we'll we'll compare. And someone's going to be making shortbread. <laughs> so yeah, that's the little haul for this morning. Hey everyone, hello. We're in the car. We've had a manic like morning, <laughs> doing so much stuff. We went to the tip. We went to Richard's physio. We got petrol. We, we did went to Audi. Yeah, all those things. So um, it's been a jam-packed morning. And it's only midday. Yeah. <laughs> we're now heading to away for the weekend <laughs> no we're going down to the coast uh, we've had this booked for a while and we weren't sure whether it was going to go ahead or not with the lockdown and everything yeah uh, but we're going down to Bournemouth pool area it's happening it's happening we're <laughs> actually leaving the house <laughs> we're leaving the house it's happening yeah we have um, very few plans um, which we'll go through in the next like couple of days but we basically need a bit of fresh air down the coast so the only thing we really want to do is see the sea <laughs> hear the sea yeah smell the sea <laughs> so um yeah we just booked a premiere in we are staying two nights we're going to um go down by the sea we've bought our own little picnic with us so we're not sort of going out anywhere we just wanted to get away and i think we spoke yesterday about mental health and yeah. it has been tough this year and uh, there's been many times where we've really struggled and I think it's important just to get out 
and get, away yeah. safely within the restrictions and we can do it and yeah. and um, we've just felt like leaving the house has become a really weird concept now I don't know about you but it started to feel a bit like we don't really feel comfortable leaving the house and we end up just staying in the house all the time yeah obviously that's not healthy so no. yeah. so we're gonna we're gonna head down we're going by basing stoke because we need to collect a present from dunelm which we were gonna get last night but we ended up deciding not to go so we thought it'd be easy to go today we had a little gentle reminder from the store to head down there to collect it. yeah so we're driving by basing stoke and then it's about another hour or so on from there down to pool we're going to check in to the hotel, put our stuff in the room, and then where are we going? Then we're going to go to the sea. Sea. <laughs> yeah, we're going to, we've got like a meal deal from co-op this morning, so we're going to, I think, pop to Sandbanks, perhaps? Uh, Sandbanks is a really nice area. We used to go there a lot yeah. um, years ago. And, and when we were kids, we used to go there a lot as well, so fond memories. So we're going to go take our lunch and have lunch down by the sea. And if it's nice, we'll go for a little walk. If it's not, we'll just sit in the car. <laughs> so um, yeah, we'll follow along the along. And the yes, the um, Disney quiz advent calendar has come with us <laughs> yeah. in the Star Wars Galaxy's Edge um, no bag back there. <laughs> Christmas playlist from Spotify so we're going to enjoy some real good Christmas music all the way down. I know we mentioned these in Aldi earlier but we've got them here. They're like the Candy Kitten but Aldi's own brand. The pineapples are amazing aren't yeah, they? They do strawberry and watermelon ones as well. Yeah so nice. We've swapped. <laughs> Ta -da! So um, we've done our pickup at Dunelm which was really easy. Um, it was quite quiet actually. I was a little bit nervous because it was the car park was quite busy but inside was not too bad. Um, so yeah, we've done that. We've had our first ever trip to, well I have, first ever trip to Dunhill. Literally run in, run out. Run in, run out. Time and other time. Um, but we are back on our way. We're currently just joined the M3, so we're about an hour away from um, the beach-ish, shall we say. Um, so yeah, so we're excited, aren't we? Yeah, and we're just saying like, we're splitting the driving because Rich, um, you didn't drive for seven weeks, did you, with your accident? Yeah, so when I had my accident back in September, um, I didn't drive for a couple of months. So I'm, I'm just building up my confidence, building up my skill. Not yeah. skills, but you know what I mean. Like, just confidence driving. It's quite scary not driving. I mean, like, on yeah. a two-week holiday, if you don't drive, it's quite, quite hard to get back into. I know. Um, but yeah, we'll get there. We're going to see the sea. We're going to see the sea. Did you ever play the game where you're like the first person to see the sea? Like who sees the sea first? I did, yeah. Um, we still play that now. <laughs> yeah, it's a one hour to go. Yeah. It looks like we are heading towards nicer weather. <laughs> yeah, like the rain stopped and you can see like the nice like clearing and the bright the sun's trying to break through. This is what we want. We don't really want wind and rain when we get down there, but no. we'll take literally we'll take any weather. We're, we're not coming, fast. We're just coming past Winchester now, which is really nice. Nice there, isn't it? We can see Bournemouth and Southampton. We're getting Dark. closer. We, would, we actually had a, um, a little cruise book, didn't we, as well for um, a PO cruise. A, a Bruges to over to Bruges. But was it like two nights? Yeah, two night cruise on PO Ventura. And it would have been last week. But they didn't go week. ahead. Something like that. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So we would have been down at Southampton Docks. So we are currently entering the New Forest? Yeah, we're driving through the New Forest. The New Forest. Well, we're like going down the outside. Of the <laughs> to the left and to the right is pretty much the New Forest. It's really nice. Yeah. Maybe I can try and, I don't know if it's going to be clearing in a minute. Yeah. So hopefully you can see just over the bushes there. The sun's Some scenery. <laughs> We've been waiting. So nice. We've been waiting for a clearing, but I don't think we're going to get a, a decent enough clearing. No. Ignore the lorries over it's there. It's really nice outside. <laughs> it's really nice. Outside. That's probably why the lorries are parked up there. But yeah, we're pretty much going straight through the middle. Yeah, it's lovely. So I just say, two years ago, we came down here for Vlogmas um, to the same place, and you were really unwell. We I was really unwell. We had to cancel the trip. So that's fingers crossed. It's not going to happen this time. So it has been two years since we've been down here. Yeah. We made it to the Premier Inn! We made it! 
<laughs> There's about an hour and a half, wasn't it, all in? Yeah, it's very um, quiet here. Very quiet. Um, but this Premier Inn's on like an uh, industrial oh. park. Oh yeah, I can go this way. Yeah, you can go this way, yeah. Um, but yeah, so this is where this is the same one we came two years ago where we had to bail and come home because yeah. I was ill. Well, let's go see if we can check in. And it's got the Clean Protect on there. Clean Protect, which is good. Here we go. Here we go. We're here. Hello. <laughs> so we've, we've got our flash wipes. <laughs> and what we'll do is we we'll wipe around the key areas um, of touch points like the remote control. Light switch. Light switch, yeah. plugs. We've got our own pillows. Yeah, it's obviously got the clean protect marker on the door, which is good. Um, I want to be satisfied. <laughs> yeah, just a personal preference. <laughs> but look, it's got the cool purple lights. It's a Premier Inn, it's really cheap at the minute. Like we got this for 20 something pounds for like really the good. night. Yeah. So you can pick up some great deals if you're looking to um, explore. There's a plug on both sides. That is good, yeah, we always look yeah. at that. But Premier Inns just do the job, don't they? They yeah. just do it really well. And they've got the um, tea and coffee here, which is good. We bought our own mugs. We have a nice, not too bad view. A tree view. A tree view, should we say. <laughs> <laughs> you can look out towards the pool. I think we're going to go to the beach now, though. Yes. Let's go. So they do have a restaurant downstairs as well, but they're only open at the moment for a limited menu. But they, the lady said, um, she was really nice, by the way. The lady said that we could eat there or have it take away to our room, which is good. Um, so a limited menu. They've only opened literally a couple of days ago. Um, so this is an option for us if we want it. But also she gave us a list of local um, staff recommendation for meals out. Um, obviously booking advice, which is nice. Um, so she wasn't saying that you must eat here. There are local options as well. So that was really good. So we're getting close to the sea right now. So I think there's a harbour in there. So we're not far away now. Five minutes so to go. You know you're getting near sandbanks when the houses start getting really nice. <laughs> really nice. <laughs> There's like really nice houses around here. Um, obviously it's very expensive. There's some really, I think Harry Redknapp's got a house in There's, sandbanks. There are a few celebrities around here that have nice houses. Yeah, it's a lovely area. Um, but yeah, we're just gonna come and see the sea in a minute, I think, and we're gonna go right, right alongside it. It's here with the lovely balconies at the top. So nice, and these ones, They'll have they'll have sea views. Oh, 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 they will have sea views from the other side. It's very nice. getting through, but I think we're going to start getting some really nice views soon. Like these apartments here. Oh, wow. lucky. See over there. Look at that. It's beautiful. Oh, to see the sea. It's quite hard to see, but look at that. Oh, it's so weird seeing the sea. It's been so long. And it's something so simple, just seeing the sea. It's it's surfing it's over there, not surfing. Um, what's it called? Parasailing. Parasailing. No, paraglide. I don't know. <laughs> it's the one where you that one over there. <laughs> that one. <laughs> Windsurfing. Look, this is the lovely bear. So look, you've got the bay on the inside, and obviously we're going to stretch right around, and we're going to go around to the car park. But there's some the really nice houses towards the other end. Very nice house, and it was too slow to catch it on camera, but it had like a really big glass atrium at the start, and there was a huge Christmas tree. And Rich was like, "Did you see that Christmas tree?" I was like, "Yes." <laughs> the main uh, Sandbanks car park. This is so nostalgic, so many memories of um, coming here when we were younger. We're here, Rich is all wrapped up warm. Oh, it's so nice to be down by the sea. We're gonna um, go and see the other side first, the harbour side first. That was windy. <laughs> it's windy, so uh, we put a bit of music over that. But we're going to go the other side now for the beach, and hopefully, it's not as windy. Hopefully. Okay, so we've just got to the beach, and the first thing you can see is oh wow, there's like three cruise three, ships, three cruise ships, three cruise ships in the Let's background. See old Harry's Rock. We've got old Harry's Rock over there, and then we've got. Let's walk to the end. Let's walk to the end. But we've got. You can just see them here. The one, two. Three cruise ships. We were ships. just saying we thought the sand would be a lot harder. <laughs> but it's, we thought it'd been raining. But yeah, oh. but it's like really quite soft. It's lovely. But oh, just to hear the waves crashing. I'm going to sleep here tonight. I'm, I'm quite emotional. <laughs> like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know I want him now, 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 now. I told him I can be a fighter if you want. I'll be there to catch you if you fall. I can make it brighter. How 
far out the uh, the tide would be, but it's it's closer than I thought it would be. But just hearing those waves crash. So at the moment, we're just walking out onto this like platform area. Just hear the waves. We've got this rock area here, but this beach is just so famous for being so sandy. It's not a typical British stony beach for sure. And like Luke said, we've got so many fond memories of coming here as kids. Um, and yeah, earlier in our relationship, we came here as well. It's so, so beautiful. Cool watching the waves at this point, because they kind of build in a minute at this point. Here we go, watch this, ready? And it sort of just builds here. Wow. So cool. And you know what, had I not had an accident recently, I would probably be out on these rocks right yeah. now. Yeah. all over them. Many years going looking for crabs. Um, it's just lovely and the sun is out which is really wasn't expecting the sun listen to that ocean we haven't heard the sea or seen the sea long time so, so, long. <laughs> so, long. so i wonder what cruise ships these are out here did you zoom in, I didn't zoom in let's see if we can see which ship it is i don't want to get wet it's a big one Got a big wave. <laughs> and we were just saying, you can tell that the waves have got so big when the floor is actually wet here. So this is where we were standing before, but obviously they've they've decreased somewhat now. Just been wanting to throw a stone in the sea all summer. Ready? Going get wet now. <laughs> big one coming. Oh my god! Look at that wave. Hey, there it goes. So if the tide might be coming in. Yeah, I think it is coming in, yeah. It's a bit dark. Look at that, lovely reflection. So we've just spotted this boat, this like speed boat. I think it's an RNLI. An RNLI? Yeah, life, uh, lifeguards. Oh yeah, of course it is, yeah. So that was a really nice walk along. We went all the way along the beach, um, just listening to the waves. It's just nice to have the sea air and the fresh air and just go for a nice walk, change of scenery. It's not cold at all, the sun's actually, you can feel that tiny bit of warmth from the sun. Yeah. And we worked out there is a fourth cruise ship behind one of them, so we walked along. I thought, well that ship looks like it's getting longer, and there's actually another ship behind it, it's just the angle. So there's four out there at the moment. Yeah, but it's um, so nice just coming down, just, you know, we've, everyone's been really far away from us. I mean, looking if you look now, there's hardly anyone here. Yeah, this is our view right now. We're just on a bench. This is, yeah, there's like only a few, few people far between. It's perfect. It's just perfect. You've got all this open space. I wish we'd come down earlier, actually. Yeah, me too. But yeah, this is this is basically our scene for the we afternoon. Lunch now. We got packed pack lunch earlier. Rich has got the best flame grilled McCoys. McCoys. I went for salt and vinegar squares, and then you've gone for chicken and bacon. Chicken and bacon. And I've gone for a cheese. Plowman's. I was going to say cheese so we've got a bit up in the bag. <laughs> and then I've got Diet Coke and Rich has got a Lipton, Lipton peach iced tea. So we're going to enjoy this in the sun, looking at the sea. Chilling out. You yeah. has heard the rustle of a packet of crisps. <laughs> it's like a Literally. Here he is, or she, <laughs> eyeing up what we've got. Hey, Mr. Seagull. You can hear Rich eating his crisps. <laughs> we suspect this boat may have some fish on board because there is like a huge amount of birds following it. And you can see old Harry's rock behind. Beach huts never used to be this flash. Look how nice they are. They are nice. Really nice I just feature. remember a little hut before. Yeah, there are some old huts, but they've been redone. They're really nice. There's the old ones. There. But I think even the old huts are nice inside. Yeah. When Rich and I first got together, we went to pay crazy golf down here. Yep. So we're going to go and see where it is. A bit of nostalgia. Look at this, so lovely. But yeah, the crazy golf just down here. I don't remember this ice feeling. Ah, oh, the ice cream hut. <laughs> um, you can't beat the traditional British seaside. Yeah, Mr. Whippy. Yeah, no hot drinks today. So we just worked it out. We came here 10 years ago, around about 10 years ago, and played crazy golf here. Sandbanks crazy golf. Apparently the best 18 holes at the best beach in Britain. Does it mean that I, it took ages to get the last um I think so. Hole? It sounds about right. <laughs> <laughs> I think I did beat you. Look at this. Um, so 10 years ago we were here playing crazy golf together. It's just, yeah, it's amazing. It's not like anything special. It's just, it's just a really easy one, but yeah. it's nice. Let's go look at the last hole to remind Remember me. now. <laughs> I literally, the last one, you have to hit it up here, and it goes in there and obviously goes into the office. 
and I, it must, I must have hit up here, there, <laughs> I felt here, so sorry for you. Ages. <laughs> I remember. Oh, such a good flashback. <laughs> uh, good time. Turn around and five minutes later, <laughs> Rich is floating along. <laughs> I managed to get in it without touching it. <laughs> yeah, we were like, you can't touch the sides. <laughs> I'll leave you there. See you Back later. In the hotel now. We've got the lovely purple mood lighting on makes me feel sleepy and we've got all our pick and mit picnic stuff we've we've been saving these for about a month <laughs> we've had them a while we said we won't have them till december it's december but digestive gingerbread <laughs> so we've got quite a lot a few things most of it you've seen we've got some jelly babies this is luke's favorite i love jelly babies I, i'm not so keen <laughs> we also bought the Whoopie pie, the Red velvet whoopie pie. The open to that is definitely coming out tonight. <laughs> and Genevieve. So we're going to enjoy this as our dinner tonight. I also have to mention the birthday cake Kit Kat that we got from American Fizz that we have brought along. Which we've also had a while. We just that. tried these, very similar to the range that they do in Marks and Spencers, and I would say these are equally as good. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Rich has eaten his, <laughs> given they are um, much cheaper. Big thumbs Just up. Chilling for a bit. We're gonna pop two. Hopefully, B&M, subject B &M. to crowds. <laughs> so B&M is a UK discounted retailer. Um, we don't have one very close to us. Um, and Rich saw that there was one five minutes drive from our hotel. Basically, because I really wanna try and get some Tizer, uh, if you're familiar with Tizer, it's kind of like a staple Christmas drink. Um, and some cream soda, which I know you can get in a lot of places, but I'm thinking being able to have it as well. Yeah, and there's lots of other Christmassy stuff in there, like for Christmas. <laughs> not just ties and <laughs> ties are a Christmas staple. Yeah. <laughs> so we're not going to take the camera because we don't want to vlog in there, but we might try and do a little bit on our phones. See you in a bit. Here we go, B and M time. There's no line. Here we go. Let's go shopping. Wow. So we've got the rocky road. Definitely going to try some of these. Also, the mint and dark chocolate in the basket. <laughs> chocolate and orange. There's loads of flavours. <laughs> orange is coming with it. Ah, the Christmas staple that is Quality Street in a bag, or more importantly, in there. So, all the uh, Dolce Gustos are three pounds in here, and they've got the Nest Quick, and they've got the lattes. Orange and cranberry. They've got Fanta Lemon. I love Fanta Lemon. I'm going to get a couple of Fanta Lemons for Christmas. They're doing gin and tonic flavour and orange and mint flavour after eight. Not sure about gin and tonic. So yeah, this store is really big. We've got a few bits, haven't we? We're doing well. <laughs> I've just seen this really cute map, but it's broken. It's oh, fine. It's the last cutest. one there. It's got back. Um, Got a few bits. We yeah. get a few bits. I feel like it was a, a worthwhile trip for sure. Yeah, we'll show you. We haven't bought them up because we've left them in the car. So what we'll do is we'll um, show you on Sunday when we get back home, just a few little bits that we got. Um, pretty crazy in there. It was crazy. Yeah. No real social distancing. So we were kind of like, let's just grab and run. So it's a bit like a supermarket suite. <laughs> <laughs> we're like, basket, 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 let's go. Yeah, okay. it wasn't an enjoyable experience, but we were saying B&M is a great place to get some of those few things that just aren't like sold widely. So B&M is quite classic for finding things that are only sold in B&M. But you were looking for the caramels, weren't you? I was looking for the caramels, but we did find the Mentos candy cane. Yeah. Um, and some other, other, and some other few bits, so which we'll show you probably when we get back here. Yeah. yeah, it's good for cleaning supplies as well. Oh yes. <laughs> so we're going to have our um, dinner now. We're going to have just nibbly bits in here, and then um, we'll do the Disney quiz, Advent yep. quiz. Brought that with us. So we'll see you shortly. Good evening. Good evening. Look at that for some cool lighting. <laughs> <laughs> so we've travelled away for the night, but we haven't forgotten. The quiz. It travels with us. <laughs> <laughs> I'm loving reading all the guesses and stuff. Um, so many great guesses on the Whippy Pie. Yes. And I feel like we got um, so many of you got it right. So mm. well done. Thank you. And just I hope you get to try it when you go to Disney World next. Yeah. But it is your time now to read out. So the question was. This is day three. This is day three. Uh, what is the address Dory has to remember in Finding Nemo? And the answer was. 42 Wallaby Way, Sydney. Yeah, you can almost hear. <laughs> I see a few of you commented as well, so you can hear Dory, Dory like, yeah, you know, 
saying it in her certain way in your head. So. Yeah. And also, some of you included the actual addressed person as well. So that was <laughs> an extra point for that as well. <laughs> so you're going to read out some of the right entries? Yep. So uh, Fran Page, 42 Wallaby Way, Sydney. Good question. Love the daily vlogs. I've moved my three day solo trip four times and I'm coming from New York. Hopefully, <sighs> I can get there in February. We hope so. Hope which so. I'll see. Great to see you guys. Uh, Wendy Oxendine, P. Sherman, followed 42 Wallaby Way, Sydney. Hey. Love Nemo and Dory and love Vlogmas. Yes, it's been weird figuring out vacation plans this year. I live on the coast of North Carolina and we just did a staycation in a condo at Carolina Beach. Wow, nice. Very nice. Hear those beaches are nice there. Yeah. Liv Lewis, P. Sherman, 42 Wallaby Way, Sydney. Um, that's going to be stuck in my head all day now. <laughs> <laughs> Watching your Vlogmas vlogs is fast becoming my lunchtime treat. Oh, thank you so much, guys. Thank you so much. It's time for day four. Yep. I'll get this out ready I've got for my glamorous assistant here. Day four, here <laughs> day we go. Four. We have... See, I get excited because I haven't heard these at all. Luke doesn't get to see the questions. No, they're literally like... rich, does it? So secret series. Exclusive. <laughs> um, today's question is: What is the name of Lady Tremaine's cat in Cinderella? Oh, that's a good one. Do you know the answer? Yeah. Oh, okay. You know, straight I, away. I know this one. Maybe this one's a little bit too easy. Well, Disney cats. I tend to know Disney cats. Yeah. So that's true. And also, I love the new Cinderella. And I thought I'd include a cat question in the quiz. Yeah. Why not? So comment below. Mm -hmm. um, also, we're going to look at some emails we had today because I love reading the emails. Um, you do as well. Yes. We're going to, um, we will um, start doing some responses to you guys. So thank you. Firstly, we've got Mia from Corona in California. Um, sent a lovely picture of their tree. It's beautiful. Really nice. So thank you so we need much. We up our game a little bit on our trees. Some of the trees are amazing. Um, Let's have a look. Um, we've got an email from Holly Garcia. Um, they obviously had to cancel their Florida trip, but obviously fingers crossed, do get to go. Um, Nicolette Davies from South Carolina, USA. Um, it's your birthday on December 9th. So happy, happy birthday, birthday for, for the December 9th. 9th yes. In advance, so have a really nice day. And lastly, Sharon from Australia. Um, Sharon, Tiana and Brielle, hopefully, hopefully pronounced that right. I um, hope you are enjoying watching the vlogs from all the way down in Australia. So far away. Amazing. We, we, we want to go to, well, I especially want to go to Australia. Um, you're just a bit nervous about the spiders. Yeah, please can. <laughs> I was watching someone the other day and um, I don't know what it was, but I was just filming in their house on maybe TikTok. And then there's just casually a huge huntsman spider on the floor. It was pretty big. And I was like, oh no. <laughs> So, we don't get those in the UK, so anything exotic like that, we just run away. Spiders. <laughs> so so scared. for any of our Australian viewers, let us know, do you see many spiders like that in your house? Mm -hmm. Or, and how do you deal with it? Um, yeah. We're still going to visit. Mind at ease. We will still visit. <laughs> spiders <laughs> um, or no spiders. <laughs> so the rest of the advent calendars we've left at home, we will obviously pick those up on Sunday. We will, yes. So I hope you've enjoyed this vlog today. And, um, I love being by the sea today. Yeah, we've got a little adventure day tomorrow. Mm -hmm. So obviously we're staying here tonight. So tomorrow, stay tuned because it's going to be fun. See you tomorrow. See you later. Bye. Be this year is just going to be you and me. Hang by the fire and chill. Isn't this how it's supposed to be? Making our Christmas memories. Oh, and I've been long to hold you close. Forget about everything. How it's supposed to be Making our Christmas memories